The journey to Saskatchewan's far north is a striking reminder of the sheer isolation, with only the fringe of this region accessible by road. In all its beauty, the remoteness is what draws people to live here and makes it a struggle to see a doctor. But this small hospital in Stony Rapids is now on the front lines of a solution. Daniel? Yeah. All right. right here. How yeah. are you? Good. Daniel Powder is here for an ultrasound. So have you ever had an ultrasound before? A screening that would often require a flight south. I'll let you get situated there. But today, he can off. stay in the north. And we have Cheryl. And the ultrasound machine is robotic, controlled by a specialist from Saskatoon through a computer. Good, you can breathe. You got the uh, results right away. What's it like to be getting health care from someone that you're just seeing like through a, well, a screen? Like, technology is going the wrong ways and I figured, you know, that was really something. Hold it in. This model of remote health care is part of Saskatchewan's virtual health hub project. It's using technology to offer remote health care to Indigenous and isolated communities, developing robotic devices for everything from x-rays to wound care. I think this is going to be a game changer for all uh, remote, uh, rural, isolated communities. Brittany Olson works as a nurse for the Virtual Health Hub. She's the link between the patients she sees in person in First Nations communities and specialists who provide care remotely. You have quicker diagnosing and treating of the patient's conditions and it's just overall the health outcome for this person is, is significantly um, increased. They're going to Saskatoon to have a little one or you know maybe they're sick they need their support system so being able to provide care within the community they could have their support system here like many northern communities the small airstrip here in stony rapids is a vital link to health care but also a barrier to timely access the hope is that treating patients in their own communities with the help of technology will make care easier to reach even if the doctors are still hundreds of kilometers away value of this is that you don't uh, increase the work burden on, on the other side. In Saskatoon, this office acts as a command center for virtual health care. Testing new devices, like this robot, it lets a doctor virtually into a hospital room, while an in-person assistant can use sensors and devices to gather more information. They're training people in remote communities to fill those roles. Virtual care will never replace the physicians or the healthcare workers. The future is this hybrid model where in-person care and virtual care will be combined. Dr. Ivar Mendez leads the Virtual Health Hub. He hopes the remote model will address a disparity, especially in northern indigenous communities, which have higher rates of mortality, tuberculosis and high blood pressure. I really believe that uh, technology can narrow this gap of inequity in the delivery of healthcare, not only in Saskatchewan, in Canada, but globally. The next step is the opening of a new virtual health hub next year in Whitecap, Dakota Nation. The communications... Mendez envisions the hybrid care model, combining technology and doctors as the future of healthcare. He expects the model pioneered in the North will soon expand to other provinces, easing staffing shortages in cities and remote areas, a bit and saving lives. A more to the staff. Alexander Silberman, CBC News, Stony Rapids.